Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Be doing books that I'm currently reading for this month of May. Uh, I'm super excited. Um, I have a lot, but I wanted to keep it short for this month since it, this one is a very busy month for me. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first book in my pal is, because I have Andrew Claire books <laughs> I'm reading, as you can see, it's behind my shelf. Um, I have to finish up the last book that she came out with, uh, City of Heavenly Fire, of the Mortal Instrument series, and the very last book for the Infernal Devices series, uh, Clockwork Princess. I have not read either of these, which is why I'm, um, I have to refresh my mind. Uh, what happened in the last book? From there on, I will continue out the entire series. Um, hopefully, it brings back childhood memories. If not, then I'll, I'll just get through it. Because I really want to find out what happens at the end. A lot of people in booktube have been spoil it, spoiling it a little bit. But I'm excited. So, next up is Lady Midnight. As you can see, I'm reading it right now. I'm about 209 pages in. It, it's a lot because... I feel like it's mostly dragging a little because there's so much information and I'm not refreshed on the old characters in the book, so I, I'm, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. And I really want to finish this book so I can start um, Lord of Shadows because I heard that she's coming out with Queen of Air and Darkness. I might be wrong. I, I forget the titles sometimes. And I want to finish both of these before December, so let's see what happens. Um, my next book that I know I'm going to finish this month is Neon Soul by Alexandra L. Um, so far, it's pretty good, and I've shown this book before in my book haul, and it's, it's just good. It, it, it's eating at my soul in a good way. Um, Flowers for Algernon, I am currently reading as well. I have, I'm only nine pages in. But, but it's, it, even though I'm nine pages in, it's so good. So I'm excited about this. I really am excited. The next book that I will be, will hopefully finish me. Actually, two books, uh, Logos, The Divine Truth, and Warm Dark Gambuses. I'm almost done with these these two, like, I'm trying, guys, I'm trying, and they're so good. I'm, I'm reading to, for my own self, not to, like, get through and scurry through the month with uh, all my books. No, if I don't finish whatever book that I don't finish, I'm just going to keep reading it. I'm not going to like, like, oh guys, I'm going to stop reading this book. I'm reading for, for my own pleasure and rules and limits for myself. No, just going to keep reading. Up next is Their Eyes Were Watching God. I am almost done with this book. I'm on chapter 16. It's so good. Um, I really want to finish it because I've been dragging this book along for too long and it, it just... and I'm also going to do a re book review on this as well because I have annotated and dissected this book because Zora Mel Herson But we'll get to that. The Cellar, I am rereading, even though I read it um, 
on Wattpad when it first came out while she was actually, um, while Natasha Preston was actually writing the book at the time on Wattpad. So I, I want to re read it to refresh my memory and then I'm going to get to her other books which are on my TBR show. Um, I'm, I'm excited to dive back into this book. Oh man, I know I'm going to be some parts that I'm, I'm excited to <sighs> reunite with Lily and Clover and Summer. It's gonna be I probably got Summer and Clover wrong. I think it's Rose, Lily, and Daisy. That I'm trying to read or get to is the Poisonwood Bible. Um, this was introduced to me by a friend, Michaela. Um, I will link her her YouTube video down below. Um, she recommends this book that you should read. Uh, it's pretty good so far. I'm not that far in. I'm only eight pages in. Seems good book. I, I don't know. I don't really know much about it uh, except that this Christian family or Christian church group go to Africa or some part of Africa and they bring many things from the, from the U.S. to try and transform the African soil. It, it kind of reminds me of Things Fall Apart if you guys haven't read that. It's a good book. You will cry and you will get angry. But it, it does remind me of things fall apart. I'm not sh I really, I, I'm really not sure what this book is about. Um, so um, I'm excited. I don't like to read synopsis that much. So I like to go into a book not knowing what it's about. Mostly the cover usually tells me what it's about. So. And the last book that I will be reading for May is the Chronicles of Narnia series. I'm currently on book three and I have book four, five, six, and seven that I have to complete, I, I believe. It is chapter, yeah, yeah. Books one through, books, this book through seven I have to finish reading. I've already read one and two and they were awesome, but I'm trying to finish this one. I'm also on chapter three for this one. If you guys have read this book, comment down below. Tell me, like, your experience. And how did you feel about these books? I love C.S. Lewis. He's an awesome author. So I'm just ready to complete this series. I'm ready. And... That completes my currently reading for May. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to rename this. I don't... Give me time. I'm terrible with titles. So, but these are all my bad boys, my books. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to tackle them. Oh, I forgot. Another book that I was currently reading, currently reading, I'm no longer reading, uh, I finished it back in April um, during the time that it came out, was Judd Nation. <laughs> so I will also, like I said, be doing a book review for this. Give me time, guys. I just have to collect all my thoughts from this book and I don't want to be discombobulated and I can like like a chicken with its head cut off, so I, I have to be prepared for when I do this video. But other than that, thank you guys for watching my video, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.